I want to give a special shout out to my new friends I met at the aquarium on Memorial Day. We had a great conversation that led me to today's topic, relationships, queen trigger fish style. Al and G were swimming around Ocean Journey on Memorial Day, ensuring everything was on point. Got to keep it looking good for you fine folks. We get a call from downstairs that says we have a package. Unfortunately, a package is a deceased animal. When this event happens, we have a strict procedure to safely remove the carcass and preserve the body for a necropsy. Necropsy is a fancy word for an animal autopsy. The team downstairs gives us one extra clue that will make this a very exciting day. The mate of the deceased is guarding the body. A few animals pair bond in the aquarium, but a strong pair bond is usually the trigger fish. Remember, this is the most dangerous animal in the aquarium to the divers? Yeah, I can't wait for this one. Al and I get there and sure enough, a queen trigger fish is next to a queen trigger fish laying on the bottom. These things love to bite divers for no good reason. So how do you think it will react when I'm trying to break up its pair bond? Not good. We're moving into an act operation don't get bit. As we're getting into position, we notice that the alive queen trigger fish is eating the assumed dead queen trigger fish. Oh great, not only are we breaking up a pair bond, it's hungry and I know it likes divers. Al had the net for the deceased and I had the bump stick for the lively one. Queen trigger fish change color like a mood ring. That can be handy information. I started backing the live one up into a corner so Al could do the formal service. We had music and Al is a reverend. Not really. As I back up, it turns from its normal color to purple. No stripes, no green, just purple. Let's call the color peed off purple. This thing is lunging at me and I'm doing my globe trotter dance to keep it out of the three point range of my head. During this full court press, an unfortunate queen trigger fish swam over the distraught trigger fish. In an instant, the pent up aggression the animal felt towards me was unleashed on a totally innocent bystander. Now I have to referee a WWE match and try not to get bit. I separated the two and kept the troublemaker in timeout until Al let me know that it was clear. So we went back to the dive deck. Walking out, I see the dead queen trigger fish in our holding tank swimming around. What is up with that? Al said that it sprang to life after I got the other trigger off of it. When we left, Lazarus was alive and doing better now that its family member is not eating on it anymore. Moral to the story? I don't know. Watch family members close? If a family member is eating you, swim away? Want to know what else is going on in the aquarium right now? Click here. If you're ever in Chattanooga and want to meet G at the aquarium, G would love to meet you. I usually come down and meet people after our second morning dive. Just let me know when you're going to be in the area and maybe we can work this out.